Good morning and welcome to our Daily Word and Prayer. My name is Tom Short. So glad to have you along with us today on this Sunday morning. I was thinking a lot about yesterday's message. And I talked about the day that changed my life through going to a prayer meeting where I, I said the people in there would never tell me because it's the 20th century or modern times we're not to follow the Bible. And that was one of the most significant things to find people like that and to have, because the Bible is so central in my life. But I want to talk further, a little bit further about this idea as I've been thinking about uh, this concept of the people I met that night. And it, it has to do with the subject of heroes. And I have a question. Who are your heroes? Do you have any? Do you have any people that you look up to? Do you, do you even know what a hero is? I found that really heroes in our day and age aren't that common anymore. And especially in the church, it doesn't seem like we're recognizing and honoring heroes. But there might be more of them there than we realize. Let me go back in time, shall we say, to this night 50 years ago, and even a little bit earlier than that. As I was a young man in elementary school, I remember fifth, sixth grade reading a lot of biographies. And they were biographies of people who were, in fact, heroes. George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, George Washington Carver, Thomas Edison, some of our World War II military heroes. And I loved these books. These were courageous people. These were people who accomplished great things. These were people worth looking up to. I might add, in our modern culture today, a lot of these people are denigrated. They're put down because uh, as, as people are trying, it seems like, to destroy our country. They want to take our great heroes of the past and point out their flaws and ignore their strengths. But some of these people, everybody has flaws, but they did some incredible, extraordinary things. And I was inspired by, by them. But by the time I was in middle school and high school, something had changed. I remember when I, when I would have gone down to that prayer meeting 50 years ago, my, the walls of my room would have looked like, they would have looked like uh, this. Pete Maravich was there. Steve Prefontaine, uh, Steve, Pete Maravich, great basketball player. Steve Prefontaine, a distance runner. The Beatles would have been on, the, on, on the, uh, my wall. Actually, there's a big poster of Raquel Welch, but I'm not putting that up here on the YouTube. And I look at that, that time and I realize that those people weren't heroes. Those people were idols. That's right. What have they really accomplished? Well, they were athletes or they were singers or actors, performers of some nature. But were they, would they really qualify as a hero like those earlier biographies I'd read? And I'd say, no, they were idols. What is a hero? A hero, in the dictionary definition, simply goes, a man of distinguished courage or ability, admired for his brave deeds and noble qualities. A second definition here from Webster's Dictionary, a person who, in the opinion of others, has heroic qualities and has performed heroic deeds and is regarded as a model or ideal, a model of our, our ideal. Do you know heroes? Do you have heroes or do you have idols? I want to tell you, if all you have is idols, you're going to sit around and watch. You're going to be a consumer. You're going to, be, you're going to become a couch potato. You're going to, if you have heroes, you're going to be moved to action. You're going to, want to be in, you're going to be inspired by what they do. Do you have heroes or do you have idols? And in, and in my life, I believe that that night and at that time in my life, I came to renounce the idols and embrace the heroes. Again, I had been raised in elementary school to appreciate the heroes. Something happened where I began to just look up to the idols. I lost sight of the heroes, the courage, the bravery, the people who really served others. And I became enamored with the people who performed and entertained me who maybe inspired me to shoot better or run better or jump higher or sing better or whatever they did, but they primarily entertained me. 
Again, I want to ask you, do you have heroes that inspire you to courage and action, or do you have idols? Now, let me be clear about something. I believe there are a lot of heroes in the church. When I made this change in my life to say, to basically go home and take down the posters of the athletes and the movie stars and the singers and musicians. It didn't happen overnight. It didn't all happen that night. But in time, as God began to change me from looking up to people who were just entertainers to really wanting to look up to the people who'd done courageous things, I began to read Christian biographies. I began to read of Hudson Taylor, C.T. Studd, Jim Elliott, people who'd made a difference for the Lord, a difference for the kingdom, people who'd been of extraordinary love, who'd encountered great opposition, who overcame great obstacles to do mighty things for God. These were people, people who had acts of faith, like those in, in he, uh, Hebrews chapter 11. And I believe if Hebrews chapter 11 would have been written two centuries or two millennia later, some of these people might have been in it because they were courageous, they were heroic in their faith. But how about today? Are there heroes? Are there heroes of the faith? I had a pastor speak to me several years ago, and he, he said one thing he admired about my being out on campus. He said, Tom, we don't have very many heroes anymore. And when you go out and you stand up and you declare the truth and say what's true and accept persecution and heckling and opposition, that's heroic. We need more heroes in the church. I've given a lot of thought. What are heroes in the church? I think a hero, there's a lot more of them than we realize. Because heroes are people who overcome their weaknesses, their obstacles, their difficulties, and they make a difference for the kingdom of God. I think in my life, I think of the youth leader I know who has a speech impediment and could have easily just become a wallflower and just kind of been shy. But instead, in Christ, he took his weakness, he turned it into a strength. He became a person who was very active, an encourager, a teacher, a speaker, and has, has encouraged so many young men to follow Christ. I think of the school teacher I know who was blind and could have easily just said her life, I can't, what can I do as a blind person? She became a school teacher. Of all things, she taught literature. She taught people, she deal with books in high school reading, high school literature books. And the students looked up to her and they had an example of a Christian woman who took her weakness and her in, uh, disability and didn't let it prevent her from serving and loving others. Think of the young lady I know had scoliosis and lived in constant pain. And yet I never saw anything but a smile on her face and grace and, and kindness in her interaction. I think of people who encounter are, are struggling with sickness, struggling with, with cancer, struggling with diabetes, struggling with illnesses that limit them, and yet they go through it with courage. They go through it with bravery. They endure pain and suffering and hardship, and rather than uh, be defeated by this, they continue with, with a stout spirit and with faith and with courage. My friends, I want to encourage you to be a person of, to be, to be a hero. And you ask, well, who do you, should you really want to be a hero? And I want to suggest yes. And I want to suggest at a minimum that if you want to win your children, you better be their hero. Let me say that again. If you want to win your children, you had better be their hero. Because children will grow up and, and you can give them, you can direct them as to who their heroes will be. Again, by the time I was making big decisions in my life, and I'm so fortunate God got a hold of me, because at a time when I was making big decisions in my life, my heroes weren't heroes, they were idols. And I, I was drawn, I want to play in the NBA, I want to run in the Olympics, I, want to, I, I never thought I was going to be a movie actor or anything, but I, uh, these were the people I looked up to and I aspired to be like because they were my idols. And later on, when I came to Christ and I began to read Christian biographies and I began to meet more Christians, then I, I had heroes, some of whom were famous, some of whom were not. 
but they were people I said, look at what they overcame. Look at the courage they showed. Look at the, the risk they took. Look at the acts of faith they performed. Brothers and sisters, you, you need to be this to your children. And my guess is that you moms, you're courageous. You're raising children. That's cur- that takes courage in our day and age. You who are working, you who are d- dealing with the hardships of work or misunderstandings at work or who persevere and who do good in spite of obstacles, in spite of what the world throws at us, those of you who faithfully show up, faithfully thank the Lord, faithfully are cheerful, put a smile on your face, rejoice in the Lord, and do what God calls you to do. That, my friends, is heroic. Let your children see it. Let them understand the trials you face. Let them understand the things you go through and and how you are trusting God in all these things in life. This is so very important. And, And be a hero. Be involved in things your children be proud of you. Be involved in things. Let them see things. Let them hear you speak up. Let them see you be courageous. And expose them to other courageous people. Dare I say in our own life, uh, I, I, our children really looked up to Roz and me, and they looked up to the things we were involved in, and they saw us doing heroic actions. My wife suffering through illness, my wife uh, schooling the children, my wife, her love and compassion for our kids, her care for them, me and, and uh, with our children and me and my ministry, they saw courage, they saw bravery, they saw us as being heroic, but we also exposed them to others who were heroic. We also let them see and know other people who were doing great things for God. My, my friends, I, I want to urge you with this. We live in such a celebrity culture. Your kids and you and me, we're, are we looking to heroes who did great things for God, who overcame obstacles, or are we only looking at idols? There's something in us that wants to find someone to follow. Paul said to Timothy, now you followed my teaching, conduct, purpose, faith, patience, love, perseverance, persecutions, and sufferings. Timothy followed Paul, like we saw earlier this week, not as his idol, but as his heroic leader. And we want to pray, people need someone to follow. Let's make sure that they're following heroic Christians and not just idols. Amen? Let's pray about this. Father in heaven, we thank you for how you have created us. We thank you for how you have made us to really desire and look to others who are further ahead of us in life. Jesus, we declare that you are our ultimate hero. And we thank you that you you are brave enough to go to the cross. You are brave enough to confront Pharisees. You are brave enough to face death. You are brave enough to face Pilate. You are the, the greatest powers. You, you face them all. And you were brave enough to die on the cross, and then you rose from the dead. You're the ultimate hero. But we thank you also for other heroes that we have in Scripture. David, Moses, Gideon, Paul, Peter, so many of them. I pray, Father, that we'd be inspired by these heroes. And we thank you for the heroes throughout, throughout, the, the, throughout Christian history who have done mighty deeds for you. And I want to thank you, Father, that the people on here, I believe, who listen to me day in and day out, I believe are more heroic than they realize. And the way they're living, I think, is more heroic than they realize. Help us, Father, to stand strong, firm, faithful, to let our light shine. And I pray our children, our grandchildren, those within our sphere of influence, would see our lives and our dedication to Jesus Christ And they would admire us not as an idol, but as a hero of the faith. And we ask, Father, for our this next generation and our children and our grandchildren and our peers and us, that we would not be following idols and not be lifting up idols in our lives, but rather we'd be lifting up true heroes of the faith, honoring them, aspiring to inspired by their example, as as Timothy followed Paul's conduct and purpose and faith and persecutions might we as well and we pray these things and bless you and love you now it's in jesus name we ask it amen amen and amen hey folks like i said you're probably more heroic than you realize but if you're not 
Let's get on the ball. Be courageous. Stand up for the Lord. Overcome those obstacles. Uh, walk in faith and live that life that those around you would admire. There's probably more people watching than you realize. And I'm going to guess they admire you more than you realize as well. To God be the glory. Let Christ shine in you. Thanks for joining me. If you're new, a special welcome to you. I hope that you will join us every day because we come here every day at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time to share the Word of God. We're in the book of Philippians Monday through Friday. We'll be back in Philippians tomorrow. If you're new, welcome. I hope you'll subscribe to the channel, like the video, share with your friends, post this on your social media. Let's grow our channel. And all of you on the way out, like the video and leave a comment in the in the comments below. It helps the uh, placement of the video on people's pages. God bless you. I love you and we'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye-bye.